Hello and happy 4th of July. On today's episode of Vice Grip Lodge, we're going to be showing you a really quick and easy way to throw together a last minute dessert. Today I have Bentley helping me out and we're going to be making a 4th of July bunt cake. We have all of our ingredients ready to go and this is just a box cake so nothing really fancy but I'm going to show you a really good way to kind of doll it up and make it really festive and fun and um, it's really easy to do so we have our bunt pan so this is the kind of cake that we're going to be making we have all the fixings that we need we just follow the directions on the box the first thing it tells us to do is heat the oven to 350. super simple done then we're going to mix everything up right yep. you're gonna help me out with that sure okay go get on your little spot over here and we'll get going all right buddy what are the first instructions that we're gonna do what does it tell um, us it says heat oven to 350 fahrenheit for pause shiny. done okay shiny metal or glass pan or 325 fahrenheit for non-stick pan okay so Three. we're gonna be using this pan, our bunt pan right here. And so the way that we do this one is we're gonna put some spray on it, this stuff right here. I'm gonna spray it really good and then we're gonna coat it with flour. And then what that does, I'm sure most of you guys already know, but Bentley, what that does, we put these things together in here and then we bake it. And then when we take it out of the oven, it's all done, we can flip it over and it doesn't stick to the pan. So I'll have Bentley help us out with that. So then we take our spray. You guys probably all know this, we do a really good coating all over the different sides. Quite a bit, be very liberal. Then, take the flour. I usually just take a spoon, sprinkle it around in there. Be generous amount again. And then I pat it around like this, turning it. It's okay if you spill. Messes are fine. I'll oh, clean those later. If I do this, oh yeah, see we're getting it all over the counter all around and then we gotta get the inside of it maybe <laughs> as good as you can anyway most of it is all the way around you can see all the different edges i'm trying to get this part still that kind of that part's being pretty tricky that'll be the one part that sticks to it and then it'll fall apart when we rip it out so we don't want to do that okay that's better and then i usually just dump the excess out all the way done. So I usually do that step first and then we'll mix all the ingredients together and I'll show you how we make it really festive for the 4th of July. So now we have our pan all floured and ready to go. Bentley here is going to mix all of our ingredients to get our cake mix together. Ready? Yep. Okay, so you're going to pour the cake mix in. Good job. All right, next it says we need a cup of water. That's already measured out, so you can pour that in. Good job. Okay, can you see how much it says for oil? Look up at the top, see up here how's the ingredients that we need? You just poured the cup of water, so now what does it say for how much oil you need? One and a half cup vegetable oil. Oh, read again. Are you sure it's one and a half cups? One half. A half, that's right. Show me where one half is on there. Do you know how to tell? Okay, so the easiest way, if you don't know, do you see where the number one is yeah. for one cup? So half a cup is smaller, right? Oh, that means she's ready to rock. Okay, so if we have one cup on there and a half a cup is smaller, it'll probably be underneath, right? And then, like in the middle. Do you see the line that says 0. 0.5, which would also mean half? Yeah. Okay, so that's where we're gonna fill up the oil to, okay? okay. Do you wanna do that? Okay, so you're gonna use our Vegetable oil. Turn it up to the yep. zero five. That's right. That's stuck right. on there. That's why that's crinkled up like that. It always gets stuck for me too. Here, let me help you. you get it? Yep. Let's check it out. Make sure. Oh, nailed it. All right, pour it in your batter. Good job. Okay, what does it say we need after the oil? Um, three egg whites or three whole eggs. 
Which one do you want to do? Do you want to do just egg whites or whole eggs? What are egg whites? So then that would just mean that we separate the yolk from the egg whites. And we don't use the yolk. It makes it a little bit richer. It's a little healthier without the egg yolks, but it tastes better with them. <laughs> it's up to you. Let's just three whole eggs. Okay, that'll be a little easier, I think. Yeah. All right, do you want me to crack the eggs or do you want to? Oh, uh, you can. You want me to? Okay. Know. Okay, three eggs. One more. So we have all of our ingredients now put in here. Bentley's gonna use the mixer, start getting that mixed up, and then comes the fun part on how we make it 4th of July festive. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, so you're gonna use the first one. You're gonna click it to see the number one. Yeah. You're gonna do that for about 30 seconds, but put it in the in the bowl first. And you wanna touch it all the way to the bottom, just like first. that. Yep, now click it just to the number. For how long? I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Nope, you just, <laughs> that's um, a, you ejected them, that's okay. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> this one, we're gonna click it to number one. <laughs> There. Go all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna max the seal a little bit more. Ready? Yep. Get the edges really good. See how there's all the powder still? All right, buddy, I think we're about done. Go ahead and turn it off. Yep, all the way. There you go. All right, what's the rule in this house? Since I mixed it, I get to lick the beaters. You got it. That's the best part, right? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna set it up like this for just a minute. Let those drip down. Sometimes you can go. Just like that. All right, now, Benny, I'm gonna show you how to make our stuff really fun. Have the batter all done now? So we're gonna make it like red, white, and blue for 4th of July. Usually, we make a lot more desserts than this and treats that are really festive for our big 4th of July day, but we're not back home at the farm this year. It's just the five of us. So this is the only one we're gonna do, but we're still gonna make it really fun. So we have our white, and then we're gonna make some that's gonna be red and some that's blue. I use these uh, gel food colors. These are my favorite because they really make coloring anything, any type of food or frosting, or in this case, cake batter makes it really vibrant, really, really easy to do. And it's not terrible for you. So you don't have to get these exactly equal. Just kind of, we're gonna leave a little bit in here for our white. I'm gonna just put a good amount in each one of these for our different colors. And the fun thing about this is you can do this for any holiday or any you know birthday party or whatever, and just use whatever colors you want. You can use 10 colors, but in this case, obviously, 4th of July, we're gonna just do red, white, and blue. A few squirts of that. That's actually probably way too much. So that's great. Some blue in this one. Mix this in. And then you can really just judge, you know, what color of blue you want by how much food coloring you put in. So you get it all mixed up and kind of decide that. And that's pretty blue, actually. So I don't think there's a whole lot more with this one. Unless you want to go darker, or do you want to just leave it like this? Uh, you can go darker if you want, but... Maybe just, a little darker. A little darker? Okay. Yeah. Like two more drops. Two drops? Yeah. Let's see. One, two. There. And we'll mix up our red. And the thing I like about these gel colors is the red is actually, it turns out red. Usually with other food colorings, you put red and with the white and you end up with like a pink. But this one's really good at actually turning red. All right, got those all mixed up. So now I'm going to show you guys how we do this. And again, there is no wrong way to do this. It's however really you want to do it. But what I do is I always start with the main color, the base color, and then these bunt pans, I kind of just go around like this. Of course, you got to save enough for Bentley to lick the spoon, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got all the white in there. And then what color should we do next? And do red or blue? Uh, do blue. Want to do blue? Okay. You just kind of make little circles. And in this case, you're not going to want to mix it in because of the blue and the red. If you mix it, 
Penny, what color did we get? We mixed blue and red. What color do we get? Uh, purple. Yep, good job. We don't want purple for the purple fly, do we? No. Let me take our red. Can you see that on top there? I kind of just go in a circle. We'll take our red next. And I just kind of layer that in. On top of the blue? Yep. It kind of looks like mustard on a hot dog. Except it's <laughs> not really any yellow. Kind of. Maybe a lot of mustard. Yes. How does it not mix in and make purple when you put it on top of the blue? You know, it might do that a little bit, but it won't be too terrible. Not like all purple? Yep. Okay, so then we look at our instructions. It tells you, you know, what type of pan you're using, the amount of time you need to cook, bake the cake for every type of pan. So this one, since we're doing a bump cake, this one says 40 to 45 minutes. We're gonna pop this in the oven. And it'll rack, and it goes. 40 to 45. I don't like odd numbers, so we're going 44. Cake is in the oven. I was cleaning up, but Bentley couldn't wait to get into it, huh? Yeah. That's the best part. Are you saving any for me? No. Oh. <laughs> the oven is yelling at me, so I guess we're gonna pull it out, check on it. Looks like it's probably done. Into the old toothpick check. Came out clean, which means it's done. You can see that the color has like seeped in around. So those lines that were really thick before are now a lot thinner. And that just means that the color went inside the cake and made some really fun little designs that we'll have to show you later when we cut into it. So we're gonna let this cool. I always put it up on a cooling rack, that way the air can get underneath it and cool it from that way too. And so it stops kind of essentially baking in the pan since the pan is so hot. And the boys and I are gonna run to the store quick and grab a few more things that we need for our barbecue tonight. We get back, that should be cool. And then I'll show you guys what we do to decorate it. The boys and me just got back from the store. Our cake is nice and cool now. So we are going to flip it onto our little cake pan here. Can you hold that for mom? Okay. This should come out pretty quick and easy if we flour it up the right way. So I guess go like this. Kind of center it in a quick flip. Flip. Oh. Hope. There you go. Whoa. Now it looks like it's all white, but when you cut inside of it, since we put that different color in there, there'll be some fun designs in there. You can kind of see, well, maybe not on the camera very much, but on the inside, you can see like a little bit of the, the red poking through. I'm gonna show you what I do to decorate it with the frosting. For this specific cake, um, I do just use this kind of frosting out of the tub, but I do something different to it. I don't just slap it on there. So let me show you what I do for this cake. So I just get a bowl that you can put in the microwave, scoop it all in there, and then I microwave it enough just to get it a little bit warm. And then what that does is it kind of turns it, I mean, obviously it gets a little bit runnier. And then when I put it on the cake, it's more of a drizzle. Okay, so I microwave this for about 24 seconds. I um, mean, you can see it's pretty runny now. But that's exactly how you want it if you want to get that like glaze consistency. So then what I do is I just kind of do like a drizzle. It takes a little while. Nothing right or wrong about how you do it. You can pour it on. You could get a syringe and make little designs, whatever. But I think that this is really all you need to do. And this way I find that you actually don't even need to use the whole container of frosting as opposed to like if you were to bake a cake and it's like a big square. I always feel like you don't have enough frosting and then it's really sweet, overly sweet, which I don't like. And I actually really like sweet stuff. I have a very bad sweet tooth. So I don't know. I don't like it that sweet. Anyway, get some good drizzle going on here. And then I always put 
a little extra in the middle. That way you can scrape it out if you want. A little more sweetness to it. Then the last thing that I do, I get a couple different kinds of sprinkles. And again, you can get any kind of sprinkles for any kind of event. Christmas time, you could do like red and green instead of red and blue. Halloween, you could do black and orange. They do have black food coloring. I've done that before. Or even just birthdays, birthday colors, whatever. So these ones, you can see they have like little stars in them. And obviously the colors in these ones have some stars in them as well. And you want to put these on while the frosting is still not dry so that they stick. Otherwise they're just gonna fall all over the place. So I like sprinkles. Some people don't like sprinkles. So I don't go too crazy with them. Just enough to make it pretty however you want. And there you have it. I put it on this cake pan because it has the lid for transporting. We're gonna be going out to the shop to barbecue tonight and do fireworks. So we're gonna need to transport it. Um, but there you go, super simple out of the box, so not homemade obviously, but this is something you can do in a quick pinch, super fast, really, really easy, really tasty actually. Call me crazy, but for some reason, I feel like these bunt cakes, I really think that they have like better flavor, better taste to them than if you were just to bake it as a square. I don't, I don't know why, but they do. More moisture, something. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you guys have a safe and happy fourth, and we'll catch you next time.